What is going on guys? Welcome to your sixth, I think, Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be fixing our text on the screen. Now, we got our text to print out on the screen successfully, or hopefully you did. But there is a little thing that kind of annoyed us with it. Um, you probably can't see it right here, but if you made it on your full screen, you can see that the edges of the letters, especially where it sloped, like on the W and on the G, the bends on the G, it was kind of jaggedy letters. And this is because the text was an anti aliased And when you just um, have appeared normal in the window, it can appear jagged around all the edges, but we kind of want to give it a nice clean look because we don't want these people to think we're a crappy uh, game program. We want to give them a nice interface with some smooth looking text. And this is going to help you for the rest of your game development. So here's how you do this. Now, in order to make text anti aliased what you need to do is, well, the first thing I'm going to teach you is what kind of object is this now you usually paint with paint method right here and this pretty much paints everything on your screen and the parameter that's passed in is a as you can see a graphics object called G but actually um, ever since they started passing these in a while ago they actually whenever you pass this in it isn't a graphics object even though it says it it's actually a graphics 2d object and why they don't change it to graphics 2d I don't know but graphics 2d that class is actually a subclass of the graphics class so whenever you pass in this object even though it tells you it's a graphics object in reality it's a graphics 2d object so why am I telling you this? Because we're going to test if it's a graphics 2D object and pretty much test what version of Java they have. So let's go ahead and make an if statement. If that G you passed in is the instance of, and what this means if it is in the class graphics 2D, and again this means if G is an object of type graphics 2d and since I have the most up-to-date version of Java and you probably do too unless you're running a really old computer um, this is gonna be true so what this means is anything in our if block is gonna happen so this is always gonna happen it's not like an error check-in where it's only gonna happen in a rare case so this is gonna always apply true so what we need to do to make our text good is give it Java a hint of how we want to render it. In other words, change the rendering properties. But the first thing we have to do is explicitly convert that G to a graphics to G or excuse me, a graphics 2D object. And this is because well I'll tell you why in a little well, I'll tell you why now. Whenever we call a method in the method we're going to be using called set rendering hint and this is going to allow us to change the rendering settings aka make our text smooth but we can't make it on a graphics object we can only make it on a graphics 2d object and even though that this is in in honesty a graphics 2d object we need to explicitly tell it again that it's a graphics 2d object so let's go ahead and put graph graphics 2d g2 we're making a new object here graphics 2d object and we're going to typecast it graphics 2d and we're going to typecast g and what this means is pretty much this we're going to take that old g object which we didn't really know what was it graphics was it graphics 2d it doesn't matter anymore because now we're typecasting it in a graphics 2d and this means no matter what this is no matter if it's a string or an integer right now it's a graphics 2d object and we are storing that in a variable called g2 or an object whatever you prefer and now we can apply graphics 2d methods to this new object so let's go ahead and do that right now g2 and the method we want is set rendering hint make sure you don't put hints it's hint now the key as you can see it takes two parameters the hint key in the hint value the key is what do you want to change and we're gonna put text and the value is how do you change it in the value for us we're gonna put anti-alias it and this means make it smooth so the key is the text 
in the value is make it smooth but it's uh you can't just write that because you know that'd be a little too easy um java has special keywords you got to use so rendering hints dot key underscore text anti-aliasing just like that and let me see if i can tighten my window up a little bit so i get all this hopefully you guys can see that and this is pretty much what you want to change we want to change the text and we want to change the anti-aliasing attribute of it now what do we want to change it to well we obviously want to turn anti-aliasing on so here's how we do that rendering hints with s dot value underscore uh, what is it text and underscore I'm afraid to pick one of these right here anti-aliasing on right there so what we said is alright we converted this to a graphics 2d object so we can use the method set rendering hint in the rendering hint says alright what do you want to change well we want to change the text and how do you want to change it we want to change anti-aliasing on aka whenever you have text make it smooth and now here's what happens if you're running a version in Java that needs the graphics 2D object, then we take care of that right here. But if you're running an old version, um, then we can just skip this whole entire thing right here and just print it like normal right here. So if you're running um, an old version, then your text isn't going to be smooth, but it's still going to work. It's still going to print out. So that's why we need this little if statement right here. So 99% of the time, this is going to check to be true, and it's going to make your text smooth. So I know you guys can't see it, but I'm going to run it anyways to make sure I didn't mess up any of my code for the sake of this tutorial. And, yep, on my screen, I know yours is black, but mine has now smooth text instead of jaggedy text. So instead of these jaggedy letters right here, yours would be perfectly smooth. And I'm sorry I can't show it to you on my screen, but my screen recorder, since we have access to the graphics card now, it just won't let you do that. But thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you understand kind of what I was saying. And pretty much, in order to use this method to make it smooth, we needed to change this object into a graphics 2D object. And now that we change the settings and draw it out, it's going to draw it out with those new settings. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add images in... Well, yeah, probably just going to go over how to add images in your game. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.